Third time's a charm. Good afternoon, active volcanoes. It's afternoon for me now because I woke up at 5 a.m. and I've been up for a long time. So it's actually morning, it's 10 a.m. and um, nowhere close to afternoon. And I'm so excited for you to be joining me for yoga. This is the third time I've tried the live broadcast and it's just, it wasn't working and it's just so ironic that the intent is to be okay with not knowing because for about 15 minutes, I didn't know how I would pull this broadcast off. So my phone kept shutting down and I had to be okay with not knowing and just be like, honey, it's not working. And she said, just grab a computer, do yoga on the computer. So today I'm doing yoga on the computer instead of the phone, just as good. This is happy that you're joining me and um, welcome. So sit on your mat and turn on your breath. And close your eyes. And so where I chose this intent today to be okay with not knowing. Because honestly, I didn't know what I was gonna do for class today. And I just didn't know. So I had to choose an intent that I could live and embody and walk so that I could teach with you and share with you how to live and embody and walk with not knowing, but moving forward anyway. And moving forward anyway, all you need to do is just take the first step, leaning in the direction of, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know that when my foot lands on this next step of the direction that I'm going, it's going to be okay. So take your hands and rub them together. And put them on the spot in your body where you feel the least certainty, where you feel the most like, mystery or you know just like questioning around and it's funny as you feel into this and you're like where is that spot it might be a spot that you wouldn't even think of putting your hands on because you just ignore it so often Close your eyes and feel into what is the spot I'm not even thinking about right now. <clears throat> Going into the backs of the knees. So today, work with getting more familiar with this spot of your body, knowing that you don't know what you don't know, and you probably don't really know much, but as you lean into it, you're gonna uncover some things that might be huge epiphanies or big revelations. And we don't know what's gonna come up. So take three deep breaths into this spot of your body, connecting and getting familiar with it. Now in this third breath, instead of pretending like you're trying to fill in gaps of what you do know, just be okay with not knowing anything and having it be a mystery. Be okay with there being a wide open, vast opportunity for anything to happen. for anything to come up instead of what's expected. 
I feel like I just opened the door for myself to get freaky. Although that would be a little expected. Starting off with left leg out. Ooh, I need to change the angle of the screen. Left leg out, right leg in. Still feeling into that mystery spot. So take right foot on top of your left thigh or to the inside. And grab a strap if you need it. Wrap it around your left foot. Take your left hand behind your back and clasp your thigh or clothing right at your right thigh. And grab a strap. Inhale, lift up through your chest. Exhale, slightly twist your torso and relax your neck. Now breathe and feel into your mystery spot. And within that mystery spot, imagine just complete unknowing, complete nothingness. An emptiness, no expectations. Nothing made up and put in there that you don't actually know. Inhale, come upright. Half lotus spinal twist. You may need a strap for this. Put it around your right foot and then reach right hand behind the back, grabbing the strap or grabbing onto your foot. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, cross left hand over right knee, coming into the twist. Continue to feel into your mystery spot, being okay with not knowing jack shit. Being okay, being incomplete. Being okay, not knowing everything. The irony that happens when you're okay with not knowing everything or anything, your ability to expand and learn more gets bigger. Make your breath bigger with the expansion of possibility. Inhale, come back to center. Switch the cross of your legs. Take the strap around your left foot. Sit up, right? And bring your right hand behind your back, clasping at the clothing around your left thigh or clasping onto your thigh. Inhale, lift up the chest, grab left the strap around the left foot. Exhale, lean towards the left, gently twisting your spine. Start breathing deeply. Focusing on your mystery spot. So we are intentionally leaning into that which you do not know. Notice what comes up. Notice your habitual patterns around not knowing. Do you go into shame? Do you create more not knowing? Or do you want to run away from this feeling and focus on something that you do know? Stay with your mystery spot.
Inhale, come up right. Half lotus seated. Spinal twist. Take the strap around your left foot. Bring left hand behind the back. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, cross your right hand over left knee, coming into the spinal twist. And just stay in the mystery spot. Come back to it. Put all your attention there. And pretend you know nothing about it. You don't even know what it looks like. You don't even know what it feels like. You don't know the size of it. And make opportunity for it to become anything. When you hold something in expectation, like you know what it is, you hold it in its form that it already, that it is right now. But when you hold something in the expectation that it could be anything at any time, you give it the opportunity to heal at a different and a more expansive level. Inhale, come back to center. And then lay on your back for elbow to knee. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Stack knees over your hips. Inhale, press low back into the floor and lift head and shoulders up. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, head and shoulders reach towards the left leg. Reach right leg out. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, head and shoulders reach towards the right knee. Left leg reaches out. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, head and shoulders reach towards the left leg. Right leg reaches out. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, head and shoulders reach towards the right knee. Left leg strains. Belly pulls down. Do three more on each side. If you lose count, be okay with not knowing when we're going to stop. And just keep going. Inhale, lay head and shoulders on the floor. Put your feet on the floor. Take a big, expansive breath into your mystery spot. And then grab your block. Surprise, you may not have known it, but you need a block. A roll would also work. Place the block between your knees. New variation of elbow to knee, and this comes from Brian Jabo. Stack your knees over your hips. Inhale, press low and mid back into the floor. Lift head and shoulders up. 
Exhale, head and shoulders reach toward the left knee. Straighten right leg, squeeze the block, pull the belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the block. Exhale, head and shoulders reach towards the right knee. Left leg reaches up, squeeze the block, pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the block. Exhale, head and shoulders reach towards the left leg. Right leg reaches up, squeeze the block, curl tailbone up again, pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, squeeze the block. Exhale, head and shoulders reach towards the right knee, straighten left leg up, curl tailbone up again, squeeze the block again, pull belly down. Inhale, back to center, bend both knees, keep head and shoulders up. Do two more on each leg. When you finish, lay head and shoulders on the floor. Put your feet onto the floor. And remove your block. But keep your block near you or on you. Reach down, touch your heels, and flip your palms towards the ceiling. Inhale into your chest. Fill the upper part of your torso, mid part of your torso, all the way down into pelvic floor. Exhale, come on up into bridge. Take five breaths in bridge, exploring your mystery spot. And grab your block, place it under your sacrum, the tallest way that you can get. Bridge half Parasana. Reach and grab your right foot. Pull your right heel in towards your butt. Take three breaths in half Parasana, the right foot back. And then switch sides. Oh. Let go of your foot. Put both balls, soles of the feet on the floor, both balls. You remove your block, slowly lower down. Roll over to your left side. With your neck relaxed, 
gently press yourself up to seated and take a left hand to the left side of the head and hold the head up. Dolphin. So we're gonna go dolphin hands class today. Grab your hands around your upper arms so that your elbows, <laughs> your elbows are placed right under your shoulders. And clasp your hands. Inhale around in the upper back. Squeeze elbows towards each other without actually moving them from where they're anchored. Exhale, tuck the toes, straighten the legs. Take six breaths in the dolphin. So as you sit here, you're in the pose and you don't know what to do. You're not getting cues. How well do you fare with not knowing? Set your knees down on the floor. Dolphin gray loop. So put your knees back behind the line of your butt. So they're just, they're not straight up and down. They're back behind your butt. And sink hips back. Thumbs come off, that the hands come off the floor. Fingers still interlaced. And then hang your chest out towards the floor. Forehead reach onto the floor. Inhale, bring your forehead off the floor, place your hands back on the mat, and place your hands under your shoulders. Press into down dog. Inhale, step left foot forward, turning into straddle forward fold. Heel, toe your feet together, and then come up standing. Next, we're going to work Nolly. And if you thought that you were in this, I don't know what the fuck to do place already, it's going to get even better. So first, you want to make yourself belly shirt. Just like so. So that you can see your belly and feel your belly. So Nolly is this tricky and fun exercise. People are calling it alien yoga lately. And it's basically inhale, exhale everything out. You pull all of the belly back. And then you let the middle go. 
So you're sucking all it back, and then you keep the side sucked in as you let the middle go. Then you rock your hips from side to side, holding onto one side while you let the other side go. And you get this kind of sideways wave motion going on. You're like, what the fuck? Just watch. All right, so if you just watched trying to figure out exactly what it was that I was doing, now it's your time to try it and do it being okay with not knowing how to do it, just trying and having fun. Two more. Try both directions. And when you finish, stand at the top of your mat. Sun citations. Hmm, let's see if I can give you. Yeah. Hmm. This is funny. It it's like so not knowing what my right and left is because there's this flip happening of the computer. It doesn't happen on my phone. So I am in this not knowing space with you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back lunge. You don't have double mat, pad your knee. Exhale, hands to the mat, press back into plank. Lower down. Inhale, low cobra or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step left foot forward, lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, come up standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back, lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, press back into plank. Lower down. Inhale, low cobra or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step right foot forward for lunge. Exhale. Hands to the mat, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. So continue sun salutation. If you don't know how to do them, guess what? Make it up. You don't have to know.
standing pose series. Step your right foot forward, left leg back. Coming to warrior two, the third wing. Bring your elbows into your sides. Inhale, lift chest up. On the exhale, squeeze elbows into your ribs. Hands go out, shoulder blades squeeze together. Inhale, hands back to center. Exhale, shoulder blades squeeze together, hands go out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, shoulder blades squeeze together, hands go out. Do three more. Reverse lawyer. <laughs> this is so tricky. I'm seeing the opposite of myself in the video, not knowing what hand is what. Really weird. Just gotta look down at my body because I really don't know. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, bring your right hand onto your right calf. Left arm reaches up and over. Now the funny thing about this class is that I was so committed to not knowing what to teach <laughs> that I made my intent not knowing. And everything just got tricky and confusing and more questionable as I've gone on. So where else does that show up? Does that show up in your life? Is there any times in your life where you're so committed to not knowing that the universe affirms, yes, you don't fucking know anything, this is going to make this worse for you. And when do you finally say, that's enough, I decide I actually do know something. And I'm going to move forward with that. Extend away a variation. And your left elbow, place it on your left thigh. And actually, that's your right thigh, because I'm switching sides and mirroring you now. Bring your left hand behind your back. I really, I really don't know. And tuck your tailbone. Pull your cubic gill muscles up inside of you. I don't know what they're called. Things around your genitals. Muscles that support your pubic floor. Suck them up inside you like you're unbirthing an egg. And relax your neck. Standing splits. Bring your hands to the floor in front of your right foot. Inhale, lift left leg up. And this is one of those funny poses where you feel like your leg is reaching so high into the air, you don't really know where your body is in space. And then when you see it, you're like, whoa, that's not what I thought it looked like. Set your left foot down into pyramid pose. Feet are about three feet apart in distance. Legs are straight. Square your hips and fold forward over your front leg.
Inhale, lift your chest up halfway. Reach, right foot back about six inches. And then come upright for warrior one. Warrior one, eagle arms. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, cross right arm on the left arm. Arch your arms. Then cross your arms. Left hand comes behind your back. Right hand reaches up. Then down your back to clasp fingers. Can you accept your left and rights? Can you not know the pose? Can you not know what's coming next and still feel whole and complete and grounded in who you are? Certain in un the uncertainty. Unclasp your hands, easy twisting warrior. Place left hand down to the floor, reach right arm up. Relax your neck. Inhale, bring both hands to the floor. Arrow lunge. So I like to start my arrow lunge off with a block. Because I know it will happen. I know it'll be easier. So I'm saying fuck that shit today. Get rid of the block. Air lunge, starting with hands on the floor. Place top of the back foot on the mat. So toes are not tucked, they're untucked. Inhale down to your hips. Exhale, lift back knee up. Engage your right butt cheek, which also could be your left, your left butt cheek, which could be your right. Really don't know today, and then bring your hands up. Woo! Now I know why I don't. I use the block. <laughs> not okay with the not knowing, and I learned more. Set your knee down. Come into pigeon pose. Explore part of your body that you never give attention to while you're in pigeon. Like the inside of your elbows. So that you can learn something new that you didn't know about before. Inhale, bring your hands to the floor. And press back to down dog.
We come up to standing. Switch sides. Right or left foot forward. I honestly don't know what foot you're on. Starting with warrior two. Last time we did bird wing. This time we're going to do something else. Do shoulder shucks. Inhale into the upper back. Hold the breath. Pull your shoulders up to your ears. Squeeze shoulders back together and exhale. Slide them down the back. Inhale into the upper back. Hold the breath. Squeeze middle of the shoulder blades together. Exhale, slide shoulders down your back. Inhale into the upper back. Squeeze low tips of the shoulders together. Squeeze elbows together. Drag shoulders down the back. Inhale into the upper back. Hold the breath. Pull shoulders up to the ears. Squeeze shoulder blades back. And then milk the shoulder blades down your back. And if you've got a sweet little floppy cow udder between your shoulder blades and you're just squeezing the milk out of it. Inhale into the upper back. Pull the shoulder blades together and then down your back. Inhale into the upper back. Squeeze low tips of shoulder blades together. Squeeze elbows together. Slide shoulders down your back. Reverse warrior. Reach right arm up. Exhale. Right hand goes to right calf. Left arm reaches up and over. My intent, my hope for you is that you can get a little bit more okay with imperfection and not knowing. That you can get a little bit more okay with the little parts that you do know that allow you to just move forward and don't think, just do. Send a warrior variation. Bend your left elbow, place it on your left thigh. Bring right hand behind your back and clasp onto your hip or your thigh. Inhale, roll right shoulder up towards the ceiling. Exhale, squeeze right shoulder blade down your back. And relax your neck. You don't know until you try. Take the biggest, longest breath you've ever taken. Inhale, place your hands on the floor, standing splits. Lift back, leg up. Pay more attention to your mystery spot. What don't you know that you don't know? Then set your left foot down. 
your pyramid. Ask these parts of your body, what do I not know that I don't know? And I just got, what I didn't know is that when I took that really, 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 really big long deep breath, my entire state changed. I didn't know that would happen. Even though that's what they say happens and that's what my teachers tell you will happen, I didn't know. And it did happen. I'm up into warrior one. With Eagle arms. And switch into archer arms. Easy twisting warrior. Unclasp your hands. Place your hand, right or left, I don't know, on the floor. And reach the other hand, right or left, I don't think it matters at this point, up into the air. Inhale, bring both hands into the floor, and then come on up right away into arrow lunge. That is a nasty pose. <laughs> I didn't know it would be so freaking intense today. I didn't know because I had been avoiding it, how uncomfortable it is, but it's also fine. Mm. I also didn't know how nice it would be. Pigeon pose. Walk your front foot over to the other side of your mat and come into pigeon. So you might not know this, blocks really fun tools and what I like to do is I like to put my chest right at the middle of my sternum right over the block and what that does is it allows me to fold forward without putting so much pressure on my knee or my thigh.
Shavasana. Now I'm going to let you all go, and I want you to take your Shavasana and lay down without setting a timer, without knowing how long you're going to be in Shavasana, and open up to the possibility of going a little bit deeper, a little bit further than you would normally go, so that you can uncover something new and some sort of surprise, something a little unexpected. I wanna let you all choose your length of Shavasana. Choose to go a little bit deeper into the other realms of not knowing. Goodbye.